Man, I hope this phone's working right. It looks all stupid. What the hell's it doing? Poop. Oh, half of it looks like pixelated. I don't like the sunshine. I was picking up all these birds. Barn swallows or swifts or whatever you want to call them. Mom and Daddy Turkey and four babies. Oh, I guess three babies. Oh, that's the darn exhaust pipe. Well, it's time to take a break. These bozos. Scooting across the field. Well, I don't have a crap ton to mow anymore. Now I just got a lot. Basically what you see on the right, what you see on the left wrapping around the trees there. About nine acres maybe. Yeah, that's what I'm guessing, about nine acres. Moving slow, another hot day. But plenty of does and bucks and turkeys and barn swallows and bugs. <laughs> plenty of bugs to keep me busy. Slow moving, slow going. And after this, I got 13, probably another 5, so another 18 acres to brush hog. Yep. Oh, having property is a great thing, but it takes maintenance if you want to keep it in any kind of condition. Again, this was bare soil, well, a couple weeds, Monsanto weeds. In April, I think I planted the seeds on the 24th of the 26th of January. I mean, oh my gosh, of April. Lots of grass, but lots of weeds. 
hopefully getting them cut before they go to seeds. Well, the only thing that's gone to seed so far is the grass and this old lane here, access lane, and the wild carrot, of course. Nothing can stop the wild carrot. I guess they got the spray out there that's excellent for wild carrot, but at $100 an acre, I don't think I'll ever do anything like that. Just gonna have to live with the wild carrot. Now, yesterday I saw more bucks than does. Probably, oh, 12 bucks, or maybe eight does. It's a good day. All right, y'all. See you. I was sitting there taking a break, drinking some water and some potato chips. Well, eating the potato chips, not drinking them. And I got pointed out to my dad the other day. Make out those lines in the field. I don't know if that's from... I don't know, poor seeding or... Too much of an application of the... Uh, Roundup, or not enough Roundup, but you can see all the lines where the soy beans were planted and sprayed and stuff last year. On the other side, it was way more pronounced. But over here, there's a couple, couple good rows. A lot of grass under them air weeds. This camera keeps going in and out. Guess it doesn't like going into the sunshine from the shade. If I zoom in, nope, I am zoomed in. Maybe that's the problem. Anyway, um, yeah, just about everywhere. Over there, you can see coming up at an angle from what I uh, mowed at. There's a couple lines there. That's curious what that is, just uh, for us to work too much herbicide got sprayed on or not enough. But it's pretty drastic, that's for sure. And clumps of different weeds, like right there. Clumps of one weeds were just a uh, roundup. Either activated them or they didn't do nothing to them, don't know. It's kind of interesting on stuff. Well, I'm really glad, thankful to the guy no till last year instead of plowing and disking again. A couple of spots on the other side where the big washes where all the soil washed down into the woods. You can tell where he went back and forth with the disc a whole lot of times to fill in the wash where it's steeper and got kind of like a more pronounced terrace type thing other than a uh, a contour strip type a couple places there's enough soil there for me to come back with a drag blade and kind of fix it but in most places there's nothing there so it's gonna have to deal with it and hope me and the tractor recognize it before the haybine slams into the hill and I gotta cut a big old wad of sod out of the cutter bar and out of the rollers on the haybine so that takes up a lot of time sometimes as much as an hour neighbors bring the thing back to the house and use a chainsaw on it to get a big wad of sod out of the rollers I keep an old box saw like miter saw in the toolbox on the hay bind just for cutting out big chunks of sod out of the roller. Gotta have a tool at the time. Sometimes any tool is better than the right tool, but gotta have a tool. Alright y'all, see ya. Break is over.
the deck of the tractor, run on the tractor wheel, so I hit the point and hit the brake, and uh, it took a bad bounce, so I stopped with the tread, right in the middle of the camp. So it ain't no good. It ain't even a paperweight. It's 8.50 p.m. Oh, the light came on on the phone. Guys, get a cut from here to Little Square Woods. And I broke my first shear bolt ever. Second season on this thing. And I broke my first shear bolt. I have no idea how many acres. Well, 13 times 2 plus 7 times 4 plus 6 times 2 and then this 26 acre field. Well, that's a whole lot on one shear bolt. That's pretty darn good. See ya!